Turkey has withdrawn its troops from a NATO military drill in Norway. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says that his name and a picture of the Turkish Republic's founder, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, were used in what he called an enemy chart. The NATO Secretary General has since apologised, but Erdogan says they're still pulling out. It was a NATO drill. We had 40 soldiers there. We decided to withdraw those troops. We said, withdraw the troops even if those names are taken out. Such things have been made from time to time in different places. Unfortunately, we have such people among us too. Well, let's get more on this story now with Murat Aslan, who's in Ankara. Um, th thanks for joining us. T tell us how such NATO drills are planned and organised so that we can understand just how this happened. Hello, Julia. Turkish general staff has already released an announcement on how the event took place. And the note refers to the report of Turkish soldiers participating to the exercise. And the soldiers emphasized that they found the picture of Atatürk as an enemy leader. And also they identified a web page that is specifically created in the name of Erdogan, releasing uh, some messages that is praising enemy leader. And uh, we have to know, first of all, what the exercise is. This exercise, Trident Javelin 2017, is a command post exercise by means of computer network system. There are no soldiers on the ground. And it is to test the command and control entities of NATO, especially NATO response force that is positioned in Norway. And another issue is the pre process of exercise planning, especially in NATO, because these kind of exercises takes like six months to one year preparation period. And many meetings uh, are being held to coordinate what will be the enemy, what the course of the exercise is, and what is the time and a case serial in the scenario that, you know, it's a totally configured uh, exercise. And after the uh, finalization of the exercise uh, plan, they send it to the member states and partner states and they approve it. There, there, there must be a consensus on the context of the exercise. If the overall process is concerned, especially for this exercise, this event appears to be a very exceptional one because there are several questions that need to be answered. The first one is how exercise is being uh, performed, because every phase and every step must have been designed before the exercise that such a fault would not have occurred. And the second question is so, if there was an observer, yeah? Well, I was going to say, well, it, it, it would seem here they've got lots of lots of checks and balances and something's gone wrong. But we know now that President Erdogan, he's pulled the Turkish soldiers um, from the exercise. Meanwhile, there's been an apology from the NATO Secretary General. So is this the end of the issue? You've said yourself this is an exceptional mistake. Is it the end of it? I think uh, for sure Turkey will react, but uh, it will end because uh, NATO uh, recognizes Turkey as a close ally, as a member state, and Turkey is very respected to NATO's role as in security sector. So I think they will not extend the issue, but uh, this issue needs to be uh, investigated, scrutinized, and some additional measures should be taken 